my dear brothers and sisters, now is the time to make a smart investment. Now is the right time for each and every one of us to make a star smart investment. Today's gospel reading, a theme we saw last week, the great separation of the wheat and the weeds. Jesus describes the harvest and in the harvest the angels first remove all the useful ones or useless ones and then burn them and then the useful ones are stored as God's joyful harvest we see today a different image a net being thrown in the sea and there all kinds of fishes are caught by the net they come ashore and they start separating the marketable fish one side in a basket and the useless not usable fishes are thrown away these fishes were swimming in the same sea together they were all swimming together in the same sea but once it is caught the good ones are removed and kept the bad ones are thrown away God eventually sorts out this and we see that it's not my job to separate good and bad neither it's your job to separate the good and bad so we can relax about that at least in our lifetime the separation belongs to God and his angels remember this the separation belongs to God and his angels even in the church we have good people bad people and we all swim together and when we see something good we one we feel happy and when we see something bad happening or scandal happening in the church we are not we are not the ones who can separate the good and the bad not my job not your job and when you see such things happening what are we supposed to do take a deep breath pray for the church pray for people who are affected and then you can say finally not my job because my dear brothers and sisters separating good fish and the bad fish is not my job and Jesus tells what you are supposed to do because to separate the good and the bad is not my job then what is my job he says your job is to make a smart investment to for you to get that kingdom of heaven and that is the reason why we see today Jesus telling us this parable of the man who stumbles over the treasure in a field and then he realizes that there in that field in that particular part of the field there is a treasure not telling anyone not informing anyone only for that purpose of that treasure he goes sells his car sells his computer sells all that he has and he knows that particular part of that land he has to buy and he makes a smart investment that is what happens the treasure lays there over centuries until this man stumbles and then makes a smart investment for us my dear brothers and sisters Jesus is asking us to do something similar to risk all to invest everything to obtain the kingdom of God so there is a risk for each one of us to obtain the kingdom of God and that should be a smart investment that is why now is the time to make a smart investment I like to take you back to the 13th century a young man who gave up everything even all the clothes and the cloth that he had he gave up everything that he held back and his father was a very rich merchant and being a very rich merchant having his son he went 
to all the countries of France up and down knowing what is important for him to do as a cloth merchant and knowing that his son will do a wonderful job he spends a lot of time doing that and when he comes back he finds his son saying I have given up everything and his father reacts but he says I have given up everything for I have invested in Jesus Christ and that is none other than our dear Pope Francis who took the name of Francis of Assisi Francis of Assisi is one great example for each and every one to see how we can invest we have everything in this world my dear friends but there is one thing that we may lack finally and that is the kingdom of God therefore you and I should see that we make an investment a smart investment to get that kingdom of God to risk everything for that hidden treasure we do not know that kingdom of God but it is there therefore Jesus says this is an hidden treasure but if you know the value you will definitely take that risk of investing many of us still do not know the real value of the kingdom of God if you sit down meditate and realize that this is the kingdom of God I'm sure you will immediately make that smart investment I remind you that we are in a long warfare that warfare that will go on all through our life's journey because to find out what is that kingdom of God and then realize yes this is the kingdom of God then definitely each one of us will have that desire we all want to be on the winning side I want that I want to be in the winning side why because now I realize that that is the kingdom of God is this and therefore I always like to be in the winning side that is the reason why my dear friend out of joy you and I should know when we have come to know the kingdom of God is this we have to go sell all that we have and buy that kingdom of God it is not for each one of us to see who is good who is bad but rather to be a person where I realize this is the kingdom of God and therefore I am ready to do anything to get that kingdom of God amen let us all stand for the creed